Welcome to a world in which robots not only look human, but also respond to touch, display emotions, and hold natural conversations, making them virtually indistinguishable from real people. Around the globe, scientists and engineers are pushing the boundaries of artificial skin, AI-driven interactions, and lifelike movement, as hyper-realistic robots sometimes fool viewers into thinking they're human. Meanwhile, advanced technologies are blurring the line between man and machine. In this video, you'll discover groundbreaking developments that are redefining the future of robotics as we know it. No Lyra, remarkably realistic, these items are made from ultra-soft platinum silicone that mimics real skin, inside and out, in every finest detail. With the No Lyra models by Vitalform Robotics, the heads move, and there are channels down the necks. These features make them useful in many fields, from artistic use in photography and sculpture to companionship. This includes a selection of different sizes. These allow you to get each individual incredibly close to appearing like a real human, with organic curves and shapes that look and feel realistic. Compromise also applies to the production cost. Noah Lyra dolls are priced from $2,000 to $2,500, which is affordable enough but unfortunately hits the limits of the high-quality production kept by Vitalform Robotics. Their pricing puts them within reach of hobbyists, collectors, and pros looking for photorealistic human figures. Each Noah Lyra figure is subjected to a thorough inspection to verify that the silicone outer layer is soft but long-lasting, and that the inner workings facilitate proper movement with realism and ease. The neck joints are designed to be flexible so they can pose expressively and add to realism. This dedication to quality and stringent standards has contributed to making Noah Lyra dolls among the most lifelike and desirable robotic dolls in the market today. Mira, Sintolife Engineering. Sintolife Engineering is a company that specializes in hyper-realistic anatomy and precision-engineered human-like design, and their robot dolls are among the most realistic we've seen, particularly focusing on extreme anatomical accuracy and impressive facial realism. This model was designed to serve as the best stimulus for those in search of a humanistic companion. Mira is known for its elegant design and provides a slightly computer which can be used for numerous different uses, both as an art object for an currently involved display, to an interactive pet creator, and cinematography. The processes behind each face are painstaking, done by hand with details including eyelashes, brows, and assorted skin textures to give uniqueness to each model. Mira's gaze, glass, or high-grade acrylic is a soulful gaze that renders an element of true nature. This unique feature sets her apart, especially favored by serious collectors and robotics enthusiasts. On top of that, the mouth and shape of facial features are constructed for calm movements, making it more immersive when interacting with. Sinto Life Engineering is famous for focusing on the customers. Mira's appearance can be tailored to the buyer from head to toe, including facial features, hairstyle, skin tone, and internal articulations. Whatever you want Mira to look like, or if you would like a different ability to interact with Mira, the customization means that there is a personalized product for every user that reflects your preferences. This dedication to realistic features and personalized customization has made Sinto Life a solid leader in hyper-realistic robotics. Mira is a landmark for consumer robotics, a way of holding, squeezing, and exploring an object. It is beautiful, available, and satisfying, but only if you can control the emotional or aesthetic longing. The realistic gaze system for humanoids is a major step forward in human-robot interaction, and it has a lot of potential applications both in research and industry, according to researchers at Disney Research. With this system, animatronic robots can have more lifelike eye gaze movements and social behaviors, making them both more realistic and endearing. It develops a more human presence and helps robots communicate like human beings. It combines gentle head motions, precisely timed blinking, and psychotic or quivering micro-eye commands that mimic how humans adjust their gaze when conversing. This makes interaction actions sound more organic and emotional, particularly in entertainment, education, and customer service, such as a theme park or museum robot that can now visually see a person as they walk up to them, maintain eye contact, and behave in socially convincing ways that feel human. However, outside the entertainment space, there are applications in therapy, elder care, and learning environments where emotional involvement is important as well. It may further assist kids in connecting with instructive robots or act as a comforting presence to help mix it up with an assistive care condition. Disney research isn't just designing robots with different functions, but with more intuitive and empathetic interactions as well through its gaze system, creating a future where robots can help us with not only functional capacities, but also emotional and social ones. This development is part of a wider trend toward more sociable and emotionally intelligent robots. As developers continue to optimize this technology, we should see more human-like robot experiences that enhance the relationship between humans and machines at a macro level and in innovative ways. Seraphine There is a reason why the casting couch is famous, and Nova Doll Industries has built an impressive reputation of lifelike-looking silicone robot dolls that can displace and even rival any human, Seraphine. 
The robot figures have been lauded for their exceptionally detailed characteristics and hyper-realistic physical traits due to a mix of revolutionary device design and modern materials engineering. We design our Seraphine models with an unparalleled level of accuracy, which makes them suitable for everything from collectors to interactive applications. Their use of ultra-soft silicone for heads and faces adds a critical element of realism, supple, textured faces that enhance the feel of any tactile experience. The material is very similar to human skin, allowing for a highly realistic appearance and experience, both visually and to the touch. The mouth is a high point of the puppeteered mechanism, with it being able to open and close in a realistic manner. This brings in an interactive layer that projects more realism into how the end user interacts. In addition, each Seraphine robot is finished with makeup applied by hand by a professional makeup artist, which includes lipstick in a natural hue, subtle facial contouring, and HD highlights, providing each doll with a unique, alluring visage. Even the nose, cheekbones, and neck have been deeply considered and are designed to closely mimic natural human anatomy. Clients can opt for removable wigs or hair implanted one strand at a time, allowing for greater customizability and styling options. What differentiates Novadoll Industries is their uncompromising dedication to realism and craftsmanship. Not only do Seraphine dolls fulfill aesthetic expectations, but they also fulfill functional needs, providing an enjoyable, immersive experience for users from across the globe. Seraphine is a monument to the levels to which contemporary robotics have grown, ranging from visual art to interactive use. Axiom Station a new frontier in the industry. Axiom Space is developing the first ever integrated commercial space station. View of the development of the new orbital facility with the crew deployment proposed for 2027, the satellite and orbital spacecraft that will replace the spacecraft, its mission being to define human spaceflight and provide opportunities in low Earth orbit. It will first dock with the International Space Station, ISS, acting as a sort of annex to it. After the ISS itself retires, though, Axiom Station will transform into an entirely self-sufficient, standalone asset, providing an ongoing going venue for even more diverse types of activity in orbit. Modular architecture of Axiom Station, enabling future expansions, featuring cutting-edge modules that include propulsion, power generation, and thermal control systems, sustained. The GEV is designed to provide unmanned, long-lasting missions. The Gateway will eventually help several different kinds of operations, including in-space manufacturing, scientific research, commercial development, and even space tourism. Beyond its operational functionality, Axiom Station will provide state-of-the-art amenities to enhance the onboard experience. This could include super-fast Wi-Fi, large windows, for Earth and space observation, and interiors that could be customized based on various mission requirements, including private astronaut missions and sponsored research for companies from around the world. Axiom Station is the most comfortable, flexible space for the tech of the future, and that's why it exists as the hub of space exploration. In the larger context, Axiom Station heralds a new age in how humanity exists in space. It's designed to be the perfect platform where innovation meets commercial utility to make future missions, be they Moon, Mars, or more distant destinations beyond Earth orbit, possible. The DJI Agris T50 is a next-generation agricultural drone with the potential to transform farming through advanced aerial technology and robust engineering. Precision mounting of its coaxial twin rotor system and a split-type, torque-resistant frame gives it superb stability, even when loaded with heavy payloads. The T50 can spray a whopping 40-kilogram payload of liquid and 50 kilograms of materials, putting it among the toughest drones in its class. A robust agricultural platform built around a dual atomizing spraying system allows for a fine and even distribution of pesticides or fertilizers. The phased array radars and binocular vision system of the robot detect the terrain and obstacles from the route and avoid them accordingly to ensure that only 50 centimeter land is impacted, even in very complicated farming conditions. Well suited for rugged and varying topography because of these sensors, it can work in sloped, highly variable, or tall canopy conditions. One of the most impressive features of the DJI Agris T50 is its ability to fly autonomously. This drone features automatic route planning, in-field mapping, and return-to-base functions that can significantly reduce labor input. This has paved the way for farmers to keep an eye on the conditions of their crops, optimizing spraying processes and reducing wastage while boosting crop yields and reducing costs. The DJI Agris T50 marks the latest development in a line of advanced solutions driving the future of precision agriculture. With its amazing features of reliability, automation, and high performance, it is indeed a great improvement in farming technology and is at the core of modern-day agriculture, benefiting farmers across the globe. 
FlexiVol, a new generation 3D holographic display technology that allows you to interact with virtual objects suspended in midair. Instead of traditional rigid hardware, the elastic materials-based product developed by researchers at Spain's Public University of Navarra enables safe, natural, and frictionless tactile interactions with digital content. FlexiVol is a novel system that dynamically displays fast volumetric images on oscillating compliant belts. The holograms emulate real 3D with these strips vibrating in finely tuned patterns. It allows users to reach out and literally grab or move these virtual objects. It is a way of interacting that other physical interfaces like flat screens or even virtual reality interfaces do not replicate. Such a tactile holographic interface can quickly change the way we interact with digital media. For education, 3D anatomy models for display or geometric shapes to explore through touch. In design and engineering, you can fly around product prototypes or architectural forms in midair, shortening the distance between invention and realization. FlexiVol could also prove valuable in other fields such as interactive museum exhibits, gaming, and collaborative virtual spaces. FlexiVol differentiates itself by combining sensory feedback and immersive visuals, creating a low-effort, easily accessible interface that might mitigate the need for bulky VR systems. In a future of continued development, this page table could evolve into a more portable or even wearable version of the technology that would change our interaction with data and art as it relates to ideas in everyday spaces. XB-70 Valkyrie One of the most ambitious and advanced aircraft ever conceived during the Cold War, the XB-70 Valkyrie was an idea ahead of its time. The Valkyrie was originally designed by North American Rockwell in the 1950s to be a strategic bomber capable of sustaining speeds over Mach 3 and altitudes of 70,000 feet, evading any in-theater enemy interceptor with speed alone. Two prototypes were ever constructed before altering military demands and the rise of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, decisively terminated the bomber program. However, the Valkyrie has influenced aerospace design. With its delta wing, droop nose configuration, and other sophisticated heat-resistant materials, it was too much cutting-edge technology for the day. Even more interesting, the XB-70-inspired concepts just beyond its time. Some enthusiasts turned that old bucket of bolts into a high-altitude launch platform, a flying mothership hypersonic boost to get rocket or spaceplane launches to the upper atmosphere. While this idea never reached fruition, it greatly inspired contemporary air launch systems like Virgin Orbit or Stradol Launch. Additionally, the airplane played an important role in aerodynamic research and hypersonic flight research, paving the way for high Mach vehicles to come. As a matter of fact, much of the technology that was tested on the XB-70 shaped follow-on US military and NASA programs. The Valkyrie may have had a relatively short relevant life, but it served a major role in its time and is representative of forward thinking, a flying testimony to the combination of both speed and altitude, along with military Military utility potential, all rolled into one platform. One intact prototype remains today at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force, a dilapidated reminder of a heyday of aerospace design. 